Hello friends, I'm Parwais and this is our 10th video in Python web development with Flask framework. Uh, in the previous video, uh, we have learned uh, how you can add bootstrap uh, styles in your Flask application and also how you can add uh, icon to your home page. So now, uh, first let me uh, bring some changes and uh, uh, make these in the center. So let me open my uh, home.html now I want to uh, copy all of them so let me cut or copy now I want to create a div class container and I want to add all of them in a container so this is a bootstrap class now if I refresh my page now you can see that these are at the center and looking nice so let me do uh, do this for all and in my contact so the class uh, container and I'm going to close the tag of my div in here so in this section and also let me do uh, do this for about okay now div uh, uh, class container and let me copy this and paste it in here okay now if I uh, go to the uh, contact now you can see it's in the center if I go to the about now it's in the center uh, in this video uh, I'm going to show that uh, how you can use uh, uh, if else condition in uh, uh, if else condition in uh, a flask now uh, in the previous video I have made a mistake we have learned about for loop not bootstrap so we have learned about for loop now in this video uh, I want to talk about uh, how you can use if else condition or statement in Jinja template so now for this, uh, mm, first let me open my app.py. Uh, in here, I in the home. So you can make it in the home, or uh, there is no problem. Okay, for this I'm going to create a new route. So in my uh, at the end of uh, contact, so I'm going to create uh, another route. and I call it marks now first let me uh, create my route and after that my view function so app dot route now for this uh, let me give it for uh, the route name is marks and also I want to pass a parameter uh, integer parameter in my route so let me give it a score okay after this at app uh, diff mark and pause the score and we are going to return render template and we want to render uh, mark.html and score let me pause the context variable score score so uh, let me uh, create a template in here so file mark.html oh sorry let me delete this okay right click on templates and we are going to create a file so this is mark.html okay now uh, let me just uh, from about I want to copy all of them and paste it in my mark so change the title to mark and then this is mark page so mark page let me uh, remove let me remove all of them okay so now uh, in here in the container class first let me create an h1 tag and let me write check your marks here 
after this I'm going to create my if condition so first let me create if you can do this like for loop so if uh, score if score is uh, mm, sorry oh. if a score is greater uh, than uh, 70 and let me just you need to end if so if this is the case uh, I want to uh, create a div class so div class and you can give it I want to use a bootstrap class so alert alert uh, success and this is a success alert and also you can give a rule alert rule now in here uh, first create a h4 class and give a heading we need a alert heading and you can say well done for the heading you can say well done and for the let me give a p so you have a uh, success fully passed the exam wish you more uh, success in your further works so further works okay like this you can write and uh, let me add an HR uh, let me add a line HR and after this let me create a P class uh, this is also a, a bootstrap class let me write for example something please subscribe my channel and like the videos so now uh, uh, let me uh, just uh, save this and uh, let me run uh, my server and so let me open this now if I go to the mark so mark page marks and uh, so now you can see we have uh, uh, check your marks and uh, so because this is a uh, hundred and we have passed let me just give marks so like this now let me just why so now if, if I give a mark so we have a condition that if the mark is greater than 70 now the student is uh, success so if I give 40 uh, uh, there's nothing because we don't have any else condition so if I give 90 mm, you can see well done and uh, you have uh, successfully passed the exam wish you more success in the further okay and now let me just check this that uh, Uh, so friends now you can see that the style is working and we have well done and you have successfully passed and this is the text uh, I don't know why uh, it was not working uh, I have restarted the PyCharm ID and now it's working uh, after this uh, this was for uh, end if uh, if I give uh, for example a number of fail so for T now uh, I because I don't have any else condition and it's showing me blank now we can add our else condition here so in this section so this is uh, uh, after div we are going to give an else so else div class for this I'm going to give a class and this is alert alert danger and let me add this uh, so okay and here uh, in the danger I'm going to create a h4 class this is for the heading alert heading and I'm going to write you uh, you are felt you are felt so 
I want to add a P tag, so please try again. Please try again. Uh, you are failed. Okay. Now this is uh, uh, the complete code, and uh, I think uh, I need to uh, close the div in here. So now this is the code. Okay. Now let me refresh this the page. Now you can see you are felt. Please try again. You are felt. If I give 50, um, it's giving me you are felt. But if I give, uh, for example, 90, well done. You have uh, successfully passed. 10. Uh, 10. You are felt. So thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel and also uh, like the video.